One of the main news of recent days is not only the suspension of the Russian and Belarusian national hockey teams from the 2023 World Championship, by the way, St. Petersburg was supposed to hold it, but the proposal to transfer both teams to the lower division. Like, if you didn't participate in the championship, then go to the second league. With the good-natured mustache of René Fassel, it was difficult to imagine such a verdict, but in the new conditions, this is also possible. Despite the fact that from a financial point of view it will be a shot on both legs at once and what is in between. There are no divisions in figure skating. But, according to our information, the option of depriving Russia of all quotas at the World Championships is being discussed more and more actively. A similar scheme Russian figure skaters were not allowed to the 2022 World Cup means they did not take any places. Therefore, they did not deserve quotas for the next championship. And while we hope for a miracle and believe in returning to the international arena, they say, it is impossible without us, a foreign coalition of federations is not averse to finishing off Russian figure skating. And there is no anti-coalition comparable to it in strength yet. At a recent press conference, the leaders of the figure skating federation avoided the issue of support abroad. How are quotas earned? Quotas for the World Championship are determined by the ISU according to the following algorithm, the results of the previous championship are taken into account. If the skaters of a certain country took high places in the previous tournament, they can expand the quota for their successors next year. As an example, our singles Mikhail Kolyata and Evgeny Semenenko at the 2021 World Cup, who took 5th and 8th places, allowed three men to be fielded for the next championship and the Olympics. Something like the UEFA football coefficient table, only simpler. If the national team has not scored the required amount of seats, its representation is limited to one person. One person can expand the quota in only one way to perform well at the next championship. If he gets into the top two, the quota is expanded to a maximum of three places. If it enters the top 10, then up to two. As we understand it, Russians may have serious problems in at least two of the four types. If women and couples have to cope with the task in a year, then dancers and especially men can take two or even three years. And there a new Olympiad is just around the corner. Imagine what kind of wheelhouse the next Russian championship will turn into if only the champion comes out in the second, international part of the season. Any ISU member federation can send one person to the World Cup if he fulfills the technical minimum at an international competition. Moreover, if there are too many candidates, the International Skating Union reserves the right to adjust the minimum figure. But with overcoming this bar, our leaders should not have any problems in any discipline, all our leaders score 30 points in short technique and 60 in free technique. The main thing is to get visas and get to the starts. Is there a chance to avoid additional sanctions? Are there any real amendments to the current state of affairs? We are talking about amendments because according to the ISU Charter and the regulations of the World Cup Russia, Belarus and China, who missed the World Cup, do not have any rights to three quotas they were occupied by rivals who reached the championship and only equipment breakdown or injuries can be valid reasons. Neither is relevant in the case of Russia. Nevertheless, there are loopholes, and Russia and the ISU can agree. Basis. Article 109, Paragraph 5 of the Charter of the Union. It says, In exceptional cases, the council itself may admit an athlete to a certain competition. An athlete admitted by the ISU is not counted in the quota of the country of which he is a citizen or where he resides. In general, the partners have powers, the question is the political will to use them. An additional argument in favor of Russia may be the introduction of qualification rounds from the next World Cup in order to make the main round more competitive and to move outsiders with dull warm-ups stretched for five hours to an earlier day. Then the Russians can be given a chance to compete. But, according to our information, our federation fears that the current suspension may have long-term consequences.